Okay, hello year six. Today it's 19th of March. I'm going to give you the model answer for uh, April 2018. April 2018, as you see here. Um, um, uh, paper one model answer. So now let's go quickly and start giving you the model answer. And if you have an answer, please put write the answer. Okay, you're saying make it clear. Right. Can you see the exam, guys? Can you see the exam now? The one I'm putting it on the Active Inspire or not? If you can see the exam, please tell me yes. Yes, very good. So everyone can see the exam now. Good. Now. One minute. Okay, now I will start checking, giving you the model answer. Let's go for the first question, guys. Go to the mouse. Okay, let's go to the question number one. Let's go to question number one, guys. Huh? Who, who knows the answer? 100 minus what equals 33? That's really easy. You all know it's mice. Can you see the question or not? Miss, I don't see, I can't see. What you can see, dear? Type. May I, I just want to make sure, guys, you all can see? Hossam can see, Akram can see. Can you please re enter the, the, the chat, uh, dear mice, so everyone can see? Yes, the answer is 67. So 100 minus 67 equals 33. Now let's go to the second question, guys. Here he's telling you what is the area. So what's the area of this uh, rectangle? Let's remember together. What's the area of any rectangle? Length times width. Okay. So what's the length and the width here? It's 1, 2, 3 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 3 times 6 equals 18. Thank you so much. The answer is 18 square. Good job, guys. Now we came to this question. Can you see question number three? Um, in question number three, one second. Uh, in question number three, uh, this question comes a lot, a lot in the exam, and it's really easy, and it's like a, a bonus uh, word, uh, mark for you. So simply, whenever you want to answer this question, just put your finger on, for example, eight, and then look up, the top up and the top left and multiply them by each other. So simply, I'm going to automatically give you the answer because this is easier. So here, if you put C, this is four. So four times two, eight. Here, five times three equals 15. And then here, six times four, 24, and so on. So this is the answer. Let's go to the next question, guys. When this question comes in the exam, can anyone tell me how many triangle I'm going to shades, please? Yes, Yamar, this is October 2018 exam year. Yes, thank you so much, Hussein, Marawana, Maram. Yes, it's two triangles. But what's the best way to do it? The best way to do this question, count the number of triangles. If I count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, you will find what is 1 eighth of 16. Simply, you're going to divide 16 divided 8, which is equal to 2. So you're going to only shade 2. Shade any two triangles in any place in, the, in this big triangle. I don't mind, okay? Thank you so much. Now, let's go to the next question, question number 5. What's the right answer? You have to put the, the four numbers in the right place. If you forget one number, you will lose a mark. Right. So what will be the answer? Um, the best answer here, you have, what will be in the middle? Who can tell me what will be in the middle? Yes, thank you, Yad. 20 will be in the middle. So I write here 20. So 20 in the middle, and then here I'm going to write 20. Uh, do you think, okay, 22 here, and here, 25, and 23. Should be where? Where should be the 23? It will be 
outside and you have to show it outside the the, the diagram okay let's go to the next if you have any question you don't understand please ask now let's go to this question guys right here is the temperature control on an iron the iron is off he wants he say has a needs to iron a cotton shirt he turns the control in a clockwise clockwise not anti-clockwise he wants to put it on the cotton can you tell me what's the measure of the angle answer it in a different way how many how many quarter how many right angle do you have till you reach the cotton very good job guys it is 270 degree how i got the 270 degree if anyone wants to ask i will quickly show you simply if i just divide this I want to make it a little bit darker. I want to divide this into four quarters. So you will find that, so 90 degree plus 90 degree plus 90 degree equals 270 degree. Thank you so much, Hassan. Perfect explanation. Right, let's go here, guys, to the other question. He's telling you in this question, Hassan, oh, sorry, uh, Anjali says, seven tenth is larger than three fifths. So first of all, you will you need to explain how you, how can you explain? Whenever you do this, you have this question, you need to do it this way. Second, okay. You need to show me find equivalent fraction. Seven tenths. It's already seven tenths. You, you don't need to simplify it or make equivalent. You need to make the three fifths equivalent uh, equivalent the common uh, denominator uh, to the seven tenth. So if I write, I'm going to write it, try to write it. If I write here, three fifth. Can anyone tell me I'll multiply the five by what to make it out of 10? Hmm? I multiply by two, thank you. So it's going to be up and down, it will be six tenth. So simply, you're going to explain like this. Six tenth is smaller than seven tenths, so I found the answer. So here, I, I, I got you exactly what's written in the marking scheme. So you write like this, that the three-fifth is equal to six-tenths, so seven-tenths is larger. Different answer, you can say, you can change it into a decimal. You can say that the three-fifth equals 0 0.6 and the seven-tenths equal um, 0 0.7, so seven-tenths is larger. Uh, yes, Ied, what do you want? Write the question, please. You can write your question. Okay. Next, let's go to this question, and this question is a little bit tricky. Let me do the camera on the sides. Right. Here he's telling you in this question, and this is, I don't know how many people did it right. Can you tell me first what's the answer of this question number eight? Let me see how many one did it right. Okay, Akram. You can think in a different way. This is not the right answer, Akram. Think. Anyone have a different answer? Has a different answer? Huh? It's okay, Omar, just solve with us now. Okay, Hussein, we have another answer. Anyone have different answer, guys? Right. Nuran, I want to see any answer from you. Did you do the exam? Okay, Hamza, how many questions are there? We're still, we still have a lot of questions. Just follow us here. Um, now here, guys, let's look at this question. Yes, it's 3,721. How can I get this answer? He's telling you in this question. Mike writes a number pattern. He counts on 200 each time. The fourth number is 4,321. So listen and... and yeah, Read carefully the question. 4,000 is the fourth number. What is the four, first number? You can make, draw a number line like what I did here. I drew for you a number line and I wrote 4,321. 4, Go backwards. This is, so this is the fourth. So this will be the third. This will be the second. And this will be the first. So if you go backwards here, minus 200. If you go here, minus 200. Let me write it here. So here 200, 
And then again here, go backwards 200, 200. The answer will be 4,000, uh, sorry, 3,721 yak. Did you get it, dear Akram? Did you get it? Good job, Yanuran. Right. Next. Um, complete the box. Now we did this question before. So the right answer is what? This will be half. Let me write it in pencil. And this would be 4%. Yusuf, do you, oh, Yusuf is not here. I don't know if he's here or not. Yusuf, do you remember what's the meaning of 4%? Percent means per? Huh? 100. So 400. And then here, you have 3 tenths. How can I change the 3 tenths into percent? You have two ways. Either you change the 3 tenth, uh, tenth into a decimal, 0 0.3, and then multiply by 100, or make the denominator. Uh, out of 100, so you multiply by 10 up and down, it'll be 30 hundredth, which will be 30% huh, is the answer. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Hamza. Now, let's go, uh, guys, to question number 11. Write these as 24 hour clock. Huh? Question number A, I want to see the answers A and B. Huh? Okay. The first answer, you're writing it right. Hussein, Mais, Marawan. Okay, the first answer is 22 and 30 minutes. Very good. Yes, this is the right answer. Because you said PM. Yani, okay, good job. And quarter to nine in the morning. Quarter to nine. So it's not nine. It's still 15 minutes to nine. So it's eight and 45. Perfect, guys. This is the right answer. Very good. Let's go to the next. And here is the answer. Okay. In this question, he wants, he's giving you an example with a total one. He's saying that 0 0.7 plus 0 0.3 equals 1. 0 0.8 plus 0 0.2 equals 1. I don't want to write it here. So 0 0.9 and 0 0.1 equals 1. He's telling you, use the same idea to find two numbers. When you add them, you get a whole 10. A whole 10. Total 10. So what are the two numbers? I want you each one to give me one of the pairs and then I'll show you the model answer. At least give me one or two pairs. What and what will give you a total of 10? Hmm. Can you hear me guys? Okay. Hamza, you're saying 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. No, you have to choose from the box here. Choose two numbers beside each other from the box that gives you a total 10, not what you wrote. Okay, I have different answers now. Let's check the right answer, guys. And here is the model answer. So 1.6 plus 8.4, 5.6 plus 4.4. Good job. 6.5 plus 3.5, not 3.6. Someone wrote 7.5 plus 2.5. This is the best answer. Any other answer, guys, wrong? Take care. All right, let's go to the question. The mixed number. Here he's telling you, question number 13. Five children share 24 meters of ribbon equally. How much ribbon will each child get? Write the answer as a mixed number. Remember the rule of... Hmm, Wind, do you remember wind's rule? So my started giving the answer. Anyone have? Okay, Hossam, give the answer. Very good job. I can see very nice answers. Happy, yes. Simply you're going to divide and I'll see how many five in the 24. So the right answer is here four so equals 20 and the remainder is four. Remember the rule, everyone, I'm just, by the way, I know perfect people did it right, but I just want to explain for the one who don't know how, how it came. So remember, this is the whole number. This is the numerator. Excuse me for my handwriting. And this is for the denominator. Okay, so it's the answer is four and four. This is the numerator, as I told you, four fifth. Okay. This answer is the right answer. Perfect, guys. Perfect. Akram. Now let's go to the next. Here in this question. 
Okay, for this question especially, it was a little bit hard. I did it, I gave it to you before in one of the exams and some people were angry from this uh, lesson. Yes, it's tricky. Uh, Mice, you remember the answer. Uh, Marawan, yes, you got it, good job. Right, let's go. I just, you know what I did? I found, I, I was trying to find the box. Can you all see the box that I'm, I'm showing it to you here, guys? Can you see the box? If you can see the camera, just tell me yes. You can see the camera. Right. Uh, simply, guys, this is a cube. In this cube, he's telling you in this cube that the outside, the outside of the cube is painted with red. He's asking how many of the blocks have three red faces. Yani, this is red, 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 and here red, and in the bottom red, right? He's asking you how many block, small block, the small block from the small one, the small one, how many block has three red faces? If you look at this block, it has one. Look here, it has one, it has two, and it has at the bottom, at the top, I mean three. So this corner has three faces red. This block has three faces red. Let's count, Keda, how many quarter, how many corner has, how many corner do we have in the cube? How many corner? We have eight corners. So let's count how many block that has one, two, three, one, two, three red faces. Let's count. This is one, two, and here three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Fabi, you'll tell me, I don't have this in the exam. It's not shown. You should know this is a draw. He's drawing for you a cube, and you know that the cube have uh, six faces, so you should know and imagine, guys. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So the, how many block has uh, three red faces? It's eight. No, yeah, yeah, it's eight, guys. You have eight corners. Yeah, look here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Right. This is the first answer. What about question number B? He's asking you how many of the blocks have one red face. If you look here at the box. This is, it's all red. This one, for example, this box has one and two, two red faces. This one has three, has three. Here, this one has two, this one has three, this one has two, this one has three. Only the one in the middle has only one red face. So how many red face here? If this has one red face, so one, huh? and here two, three, four, five, and in the bottom also six. So it's six. So the first answer is eight, and the second one is six. Hopefully you got it, guys. Right. This question is really easy. I'm going even to skip it. It's easy. You're going only to draw. He's giving you a key that uh, this shape means one, this shape means 10, and then you have to write the number. So can you just quickly tell me what's the answer of A? What's the answer of A? Huh? 16, very good. And the second one, good job, yeah, good job, Marawan, Yasin. And the second one is, okay, 16, and the second one is 53. And for sure, I will not waste time in the other question drawing. Good job, guys. Ah, can you tell me? Okay, I'm going just quickly to answer it. So he wants you here to circle the number that gives you the answer, 60,606. So this is 60,606. Oh, sorry, six. The mirror, and this is the reflection. This is the reflection. It's very important how to do the reflection. I'm going to revise it again. I revise again with you how to do the reflection. So whenever I have this shape, and this is the mirror line, you count how many points to the mirror line. Let's count from here. If it's from here, one, two. So I count from here, one, two, and then put the dot. Then here, from here, from here it's one point. So I count here point, put the dot. Here, how many points? One, two. Let's count again. One, two. And then here, how many? What's the distance from this point to the mirror line? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Let's count again the other side. One, two, three, four. And now simply, again, I'm, go I'm going to say this again and again and again. Don't use your hand in drawing. Please, guys. You have to use the ruler. Okay, so I'm going to draw it. Here it is, and then here it is, here is the reflection. Let's go to the next. 
This is easy. You put the decimals under each other and arrange them from smaller to bigger. I will not waste time in this question. Question number 19. Can anyone tell me what would be the answer? Put into consideration when I'm answering question 19. Either you change them all into decimal or all into fraction and give me the answer. And in this question, I will accept both answers. If you wrote it, you write it in decimal, I will accept it right. If you write it as a fraction, I will accept it right. So you wrote. Why you can't see? Go back to the page, uh, Karim, and you will see the question. Yes, 0 0.9 or 9 tenth is the right answer. Perfect, because uh, 0 0.5 is 5 tenth. 5 tenth and 4 tenth is 9 tenth. Yes, or 0 0.9. Perfect. Now I came to the tricky question. Can I see the answer of question number 20, please? I have three answers. And the problem, this question, you have to answer them all right. If you made only one mistake, you'll get one mark. So let me see what are the right answers that you wrote. Hopefully, I found many people doing it right. Give me the three answers after each other. Yani, uh, answer, comma, and, and second, and the third. Put them in one. Oh, I have different answers, so I need to know what's the right answer. Okay. The first one, simply, using the number sentence that's given to you here, okay, using the number sentence that's given to you, I'm going to write the answer, 19 times 3.6. I know that the answer will have, I'll show you the best way to do it, I know that the answer will have 6, 8, and 4, but the issue is where to put the decimal in the right, 6, 8, 4. The issue is where to put the decimal. Where is the right place to put the decimal? Here, if it's multiplication, how many number here in decimal place? One, so the right answer that it should be here. It will be 68.4. For so the one who did like this, perfect. Right. In this question, guys, 6.84 divided 3.6. Whenever you have two decimals on both sides, you have to make the, num the second number uh, a whole number. So what I will do to make it a whole number I will multiply it here. You have one decimal place in 3.6. So I multiply both numbers by 10. So the number here will be a second. The number here will be, if you multiply 6.84 by 10, it will be 68.4, right? And then divide it. 3.6 times 10 will be what? 36. Now you have the question. And the answer, you know, it's going to be here. The answer will be 1 and 9. But the point is where I'm going to put the decimal point. Here, here when I have this new question, how many number in the decimal place, the 68.4 divided 36? You have one number only in the decimal place. So the decimal will be here. And the last number. Let's do the last number. I'll show you the answer. I'll write the answer and then think about the decimal place. You know that the answer will have 6, 8, 4, and you have to add a 0 because it's 360, right? But the issue where I'm going to put the decimal place, you have here 1.9, you have one number in the decimal place. So I'm going to put the decimal place here. So the answer is 684 or 684.0. Still have the same answer. Excellent, Yusuf Taqay. Yusuf, very good job, dear. So the last one is 684. I can't see all the answers quickly, sorry. Uh, I can find, mashallah, most of you did it perfectly right. Very good job. Next. Okay, in this question, can you tell me quickly what are the numbers between 70 to 130 that are in table four and table five? Quickly give me the answer. What do you mean, Omar? I can zoom in. Okay. Yasin, give, give me the answer. Good job, Yasin. Perfect. Who else? Yes. Type. How can I know if the number is in table four and five in the same time? You know, in table five, the number should end either with zero or five. So if it ends with five, for sure, I will not think about it because all the numbers, all the multiples of table four is even number. So this is number one I have to think about when I'm answering this question. Secondly, so on, I'm going only to think about the, perfect, the, per, the number with perfect tens that ends with zero between 70 to 130. So 
So the numbers that I'm going to think about is 80, 90, 100, 110, or 120. So I have to think of how I know that this number is in table four. The rule of table four, I should take the last two digits of any number and divide it by four if it's divisible by four. So without thinking, it's in table four. So 80, if you divide it by four, yes, it's in table four. 90, if you divide it by four, you will have a remainder. So it's not in table four. Two zeros, take the two zeros. Two zeros, if you divide it by four, it's zero. So it's divisible by four. And the 10, if you divide 10 by four, it will have a remainder. So it's not in table four. And the 20, 120, 20 is in table four. So the answer, as you all said, 80, 120, and 100, yeah, Yusuf, and 100, Habibi. Because the last two zeros, when you divide them by four, it's equal to zero, so it's in table four, okay? And if you, if you remember, we took before four times 25 gives me 100, so 100 isn't, it's in table four. Right. Let's go to question 22 quickly. We're almost done, guys. Um, can you tell me what's the missing angle and put into consideration in this question, put into consideration this question, I'm not going to use the protractor. He's giving you, um, I just highlighted this, that you're not going to measure it with the protractor because it's not drawn to square. You have to use the rule of interior angle of a triangle. What's the sum of the three angles of a triangle? We took it before, 180 degree. So simply what you're going to do, Question number 20, you all wrote 60. Yes, perfect, it is 60. Very good job. So you make 30 plus 90, take it away from 180, it's 60. Perfect, perfect. Next. Now, here are two thermometers. Can you tell me what's the difference between this thermometer and this? I will help you and give you the thermometer here. It shows, I will write it and let me see till I find answers. Here, the temperature here is 12 degrees Celsius, and here it's negative 5. The question is saying you what, telling you what's the difference. Can you tell me what's the difference? Okay, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Alhamdulillah. I don't know, it switched off alone. I was actually working normally. Can you tell me please, uh, which question we, yani, is this the question that we stopped at together? Because I, I now got confused. What's the difference in temperature, guys, in this question 23? I'm in question 23, okay. And the difference in temperature, as I told you, this is 12 and this is negative five. And the difference is 17. Akram, are you still here? Thank you, Akram, for writing 17. There is an important common mistake that happens. If you give me the answer minus 17, your answer will be wrong. Because you don't want to, to tell me negative 17. No, the answer is, what's the difference? You give me the answer, full answer, 17. Okay? So don't put for me minus 17. No, just give me the answer, 17 as a whole number. Right? And the other question he's telling you. Eight friends share $250 equally. How much does each friend receive? Here you have to give me the answer in number A with decimal. And take care, this question is in paper one. Yani it's not using calculator. You have to know how to write the answer with decimal. And the answer is, Akram, good job. Marawan, it's not no wrong. Yeah, Marawan, think about it, please. Okay. Julia, Julia. Oh, this is Natalie, I think, yes. Natalie, I'm now in question number 24, dear. 
It's 31. Oh, okay, Marwan, you meant 31.25. It's okay. Uh, 31.25, Natalie. So let's go quickly, guys, to the question number B. Seven, seven friends go to a concert. The ticket costs $36.95 each. How much does it cost all together? Again, in this question, you have to show me your answer. Huh? What's the answer? Hopefully, you did it uh, without calculator, guys. Akram, did you do it with calculator or without? So let me remind you about multiplication, guys. When you, when you multiply a number, thank you. Good job, Akram. When you multiply this number, you put 36.95 at the top and in the bottom seven. Ignore decimals, find the answer, and then after you finish the answer, see how many number in the decimal place you have here two numbers, so just put the decimal. So the answer is 258.65. Okay, good job. Let's go to the next. Uh -huh. In this question, I really want to see your answers. I really want to see your answers. Uh, Bismillah. Here in this question, he is telling you, Ahmed plays a game on a pegboard. Uh, he must place the black pegs in a line of four. Yani either you want, you're going to put the, uh, the, the, the lines horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. But put into consideration, you cannot pass by the point mark, can you see the pointed marks with red? This is actually when you print it out, it's shaded. You cannot put the line across these points. So can anyone tell me what is, what are the four dots? Where, where is the place of the right four dots? Hopefully you're doing it right. Let me see. Mice is having different answers. I'll see if you're right or wrong. Wow, good job, Mace. MashaAllah. Who else? Kadi, one of your answers is right. Give me, no, you said one and negative one? No. One and negative one. Yes, you're right, one and negative one. What else, huh? Okay, the first one, the answer of the first question, number A, he wants you to put one and negative one. I'm going to put it for you. I really wanted to, to be with me in the class to do it with me. It's okay. So this is one and negative one. So this is the, right, the first dot. He is telling you, using this dot, okay, one peg on Ahmed's line is at the point one and negative one. Shade the point, the other three points. Where will be the other three points? The other three points. I cannot put it like this because if I put the four points like this, I either I will, I will touch this point or this point. So wrong. So the best way to put it is this point, this point, this point, and this point. Who did this four points, guys, other than Mace? And Hossam did it right too. Who did it right? This is the right. Good job, Kadi. Good job, Akram. Very good, guys. Proud of you. So this is the best answer. Four points. Okay? And then you have to write the coordinates. So this one is negative one and negative one. This one is huh, zero and negative one. Take care, we start with the x-axis. And this one is negative one and negative one. And this one is two and negative one. Good job, good job. Next. Mm -hmm. Here he's telling you, Yuri is thinking of a number. Of a four digit whole number. He rounds his number to the nearest thousand. His answer is, 4,000, and I highlighted here something important that this many people fall in this common mistake, smallest, smallest number. Can you tell me the answer? I want to write the smallest number that when you round it, it gives you 4,000. Okay? Yasin, good job. Akram, very good. So the answer is 3,500. It's 3,500. Yes. One second. Okay. 3,400. Yusuf is not in the meeting. 
So Yusuf left the group, okay, because I'm type. Here is a signpost. It shows how far it's to London. How many miles is to London? Can I know what's your, what are your answers, guys? The best way to do this question, yeah, than everyone, is to use the ratio rule. Use the ratio rule. So he's telling you for every eight kilometers, I have five miles. For 28 kilometers, I will have how many miles? You will do cross multiply. I gave you this before. Okay. Hussam, no, you cannot tell me, dear, the answer. Sorry, I go back to the other question. Question 26, the answer, Ya Hussam, is 3,500. Because this is not the smallest number, dear. If you also round 3,500 to 4,000, this is the smallest number. Because what's less than 3,500? The number less than 3,500 is 3,499. If you round this number, it will be... 3,000, not 4,000. So the smallest number that when you want to round it is 3,500. Okay. Go back again to question 27 because it's important. This is a ratio question. He's telling you for every 8 kilometers, 5 miles. So for the 28 kilometers, how many miles? You will make 28 times 5 and the answer that comes divided by 8 and the answer yes. Yes, it is 17.5. Good job, Yamar. Good job, good job, good job. Good job, Yamar. I trust you, dear. Very good practice. Next, question number 28. Write three numbers with a mod of six. Um, what's the meaning of mod? Mod means most. So you only have three boxes. So simply, you need to write at least two numbers, two boxes with a six. And then write any number beside this six. I will accept it. Six, six, and two, six, six, and three, six, six, and five, and so on. Okay? So any number beside the two, six, make sure that you have to write two, six, and then any number beside the third. Okay, right. Like what about number seven, number, sorry, 28B? Uh, he wants you to write a number with a range of seven. What's the meaning of range? The bigger number minus the smallest number. So give me two numbers, okay? The difference between them is seven and any number between them. So let me see. Marawan wrote 9, 2, and 7. If you make 9 minus 2, it's 7, yes. So this is right. So he wrote 9, 2, and 7, right. Some people write 10, 4, 3, and 10. If you make 10 minus 3, it's a 7. Perfect, Yakeli. Maram, you gave me only two answers, dear. No, you have to give me three numbers. Okay, you wrote, Mr. Hossam, 15 minus 8, 7. Yes, I will accept your answer, Hossam. Many possible answers are right. If you put two numbers, Difference between them seven and any number between them, I will accept it, even if it's with, with hundred or thousand, but not with decimal, okay? Or even by the way, it's with if it's with decimal and gave you a seven, I don't mind also. Good job. Good job. Good job, Maram. Now it's right. Right. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Uh let me tell you the last thing before I close. Um let me check something first because I want to see who's exactly participating because I'm taking the attendance. Taib. Sama. Okay. Um, I'm going to write now because I can only see six or seven people only is interacting with me and answering. So all these people, I put them into consideration and they will have grades, special grades. Um, and the others need to interact. You need guys to do your homework. You need to do your homework on time. You need to practice. Yani Sama, I can see you, and I can't see any answer from you. Hamza, you said you don't have the, the sheet. Please make sure to have your things. Inshallah, I will upload on the WhatsApp what I will be doing on Sunday. I'm going to give you an exam that you need to study hard on Sunday, please, and do it. I know, Ya Hussein, I know very well who's participating, and I'm going to write this on the, on the, on the WhatsApp. But the others need to participate. Uh, Anas. I didn't see your uh, work. Natalie, Kedi, you did a good job. Mabruk, where are your answers? Kareem, a little bit was not all the time uh, interacting. Omar, you did a good job. Nuran, you did a good job. Mace, the rest, please, please. Marawan, yes, cool down, yeah, Marawan. Yes, I know you're participating. Um, but the rest, please, you need to be there. You need to work. 
You need to work and practice. Exam is almost two weeks and a half. Thank you, thank you so much. And bye-bye. Uh, the exam, let me tell you the homework again. The homework will be in April 2018, paper two. And you also have this as a soft copy. I'm going to send you the folder, uh, inshallah, on WhatsApp today. Okay, and then we will discuss it on Sunday. Bye-bye and have a nice weekend. Be safe. Don't go out. Take care. And see you soon, guys. Bye-bye. Let me see.